Hey there, I'm Christine Zernheld from the Marketing O'Clock Podcast, and I have fantastic news for you. Negative keywords are now compatible with Performance Max campaigns at the campaign level. So today we're gonna talk about where you can find them, how they're rolling out, all the limitations, and how you can use them in your account. So to see if you have access, you're gonna be in your Performance Max campaign, click on audiences, keywords, and content, and there is a new option in this dropdown list for keywords, just like you would see in a search campaign. But when you click on that, you will see that it's only negative keywords, because of course this is Pmax, we only have negatives. So you can press this button and add a negative keyword to your campaign. So let's talk about the limitations with these. First, huge bummer, I am not happy about this. These are not compatible with negative keyword lists. You cannot apply your brand negative list from your account level or anything like that. Second huge limitation, you cannot add more than 100 negative keywords per campaign, which if you are a Google Ads manager, you know is extremely limiting. Um, Another problem, at least for now, is that this is not accessible in Google Ads Editor. So if you have a lot of Pmax campaigns in your account, you're gonna have to copy and paste the list in a bunch of tabs. It's unfortunately really the only way to do it. Again, those are huge limitations, but you would just type in your negative keyword here, hit save, and it would apply to that campaign. So you may be sad about those limitations, but let's just talk quickly and recap some of the other options you have for negating certain searches from your Performance Max campaign. First of all, you still have brand exclusion lists at the account level, so we can find these and type in brand lists. and go here, have a list for our brand name, and then you can apply this to any of your Performance Max campaigns in Google Ads. That will cut out any and all branded traffic, branded searches from your campaigns. Problem with this, um, some people might not wanna exclude all branded traffic, maybe just some branded searches, especially for e-commerce. A new thing that is happening in Google Ads now that could help with this is you can apply a brand list to a campaign. This is another feature that's rolling out. You can apply a brand exclusion list and there is a little checkbox sometimes under that brand exclusion list at the campaign level where you can say, I don't want this brand exclusion list to apply to shopping um, or e-commerce searches, e-commerce intent. So that would mean that if somebody, if you are Nike and somebody is searching for Nike sneakers, your Nike sneakers could still show on the shopping ads. But on the search side, if somebody was just searching for the keyword Nike, your search ads wouldn't show up. Limitation with that option that I just talked about is your e-commerce ads could still show up when somebody's searching for Nike returns or Nike login or something like that. You don't want your shopping ads to show for that. So that is where You might wanna add those campaign level negatives that we talked about before, or don't forget in Google Ads, a lot of people forget this, you have account level negatives. So if you go to your settings and admin, you have the option here to add negative keywords. You have a thousand keywords at the account level. Remember, these keywords will be excluded from every search campaign, every Performance Max campaign, so you wanna be really, really careful, but you could add things like returns like I talked about. You could add the term login like I mentioned before if you wanna negate that traffic, or free, or reviews, or anything you wanted. Um, and then if you add it at that 1,000 list at the account level, it's not gonna take up one of those 100 spots in your Pmax campaign list. So those are your options with campaign negatives right now. I hope it changes. I hope we get more. I hope we can apply lists. So those are all of your options right now for negative keywords in Google Ads. You have the campaign level negatives. If you don't have them yet, keep checking back. They should be out in the coming coming weeks. You have your account level negatives up to 1,000 terms there. And then you still have brand exclusions that you can apply across Pmax campaigns. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to Marketing O'Clock. We release helpful digital marketing tutorials like this every week and we also release a new show every Friday rain or shine covering the top digital marketing stories of the week that you need to know so we hope to see you there